Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. It's nearly Valentine's Day, so I better get a wiggle on and make a Valentine's card. Um, now this video is coming online the day before Valentine's Day, uh, whatever. I think it's the day before Valentine's Day. What's that date? Let me have a look. Yeah, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Oh. Uh, but uh, um, I, I don't believe in Valentine's Day, if I'm honest. Uh, I think you need to tell the people you love, you love them every day. But it's fun to make a Valentine's card, let me tell you that. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to have a play around. And uh, since I had some leftover stuff on my desk from the Valentine's ATC cards that I made um, the other day, I just thought I'm going to play. So let's switch the cameras and have a look at what I'm doing. Um, when I bought my Switch, I got this uh, embossing folder with it, which I thought, oh, that's fun. Let's try it. It's hard. Well, it speaks Valentine's Day. And I've got some leftover pieces from my uh, Belrose paper pack that I'm going to be using. I've got this little die that comes from the 2017 Journal Folders 2. And I'm going to use that to cut out. Hello, lovely. That fits perfectly. So that's for later. I've got embossing powder and I'm going to experiment because I don't have a clue whether it's going to work. Yes or no. If it's not going to work, we'll figure it out. I'm going to do matte layers, uh, black, this one. But I'm going to emboss this first. So uh, what I always do is I spritz the back a bit. Now, let me try something. I saw something the other day somebody doing it with a baby wipe instead of spritzing it because then you have it more even so let's try it right just wipe that over just on the back put that in and run it through the die cutting machine so i've run it through through twice back and forth um, and that should have given it a nice impression. So let's have a look whether it did, yes or no. Ooh, look at that. Do you see there's hardly any cracking, um, which is quite unique for this kind of paper. So loving that because it's quite thick. Um, and I think that worked with the, doing it with a baby wipe on the back. Okay, we're not there yet because we're going to do a bit more to this. And my idea was we're going to try different things. I'm going to try this for oh, make up your mind, David. Um, yeah, I'm going to try this first. I'm going to try it with white first. So I'm going to go over this with my white impact. Now this is um, um, pigment ink and it's it's, but it's quite firm um, cushion, so it's not that smooshy. I'm just going to go over this like that. And it's a 3D embossing folder, so it will not catch all the hearts, which is fine with me because I don't need it to catch all the hearts. That gives it dimension and texture and all that yummy goodness. So, but I'm just running this ink pad over it, like so. Next, I'm taking my Kitsch Flamingo and my coffee filter, and I'm going to that embossing powder on here. Give it a bit of a flick to get off all the excess. I did not use my anti-static powder. Let me just, there's a tiny bit here that I don't want. And then you can just take a brush and clean up where you don't want it. I'm not too fast anyway, because if it's on the brown, this is a transparent, so it gives it another dimension again. So I'm not too fast about that. Now I'm heating up my heat tool and then I'm going to melt this. 
and um, I'm hoping that because I did it on the white pigment ink it will become more bright so let's have a look normally I would edit this out but you will now we can see it together yeah I'm loving this effect uh, you see where there was a lot of white it's more pink but you can see more in depth here where there was less white it did stick to it the embossing powder but because this is transparent it's not that bright so i love the different colors of pink we're getting onto this love that look at that the shine um, and this is one thing i love about the distress um, embossing glazes it gets a bit of bumpy uh, and i like that gives it a bit of a crunchy look so yeah that plan worked so happy with that so i'm taking my decal edge trimmer and i'm just gonna cut this panel to size so this is how that's turned out loving that next i'm taking my uh, scorch timber and i'm just gonna edge the card and i love the effect that gives with the decal edge trimmer And it takes away the white core because I don't want to see that. So I'm going to mat this on a black matte layer. Look, love that edge. I have enough space to do a matte layer. So let me get some black. I'm going to use my tape to glue this to the back. So put that on there. Give it a bit of a press. Love it. Love it. Sorry, can't help myself. Um, and then I'm going to take my deckled edge trimmer again and create another deckled edge. So now how am I going to do that? I'm going to line this up. So I'm going to make sure this is pressed to the front. And then I'm going to line it up with the border of my matte layer and cut. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. So press this to the front, line this up and cut. And then you get a similar border all around. So that's my panel done. Just I need to etch this all around again because I just love that look. It looks like burnt paper almost and I love that scorch timber now this is a beautiful base if you want to use paper flowers on there I'm not gonna um, I'm gonna keep this card quite simple simple but effective and what I want to do is create a bit of a tear there And a bit here as well. Just because I like the look of that. Okay, that's my panel done. So I've got a card base here, which is, I don't know how big it is. It is five inches by seven inches, I think. 5 by 7 card and this will fit on there nicely you see and you just see a pop of that craft color which also combines beautiful with the pink we've got so I'm just going to glue that down and then we're going to work on the sentiment so that's the base of my card and I think this is a stunning background so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a piece of the soft finish card on the smooth side and I'm going to stamp out my sentiment. And that sentiment I'm going to use is Hello Lovely. Use my Versafine ink 
This is the VersaFine uh, in Onyx Black. You can also use the VersaFine Claire. Um, but these are great inks. So just let me stamp that onto that paper. So I'm stamping on the smooth side of the soft finish cardstock. Love that. Just perfect in one go. And now I'm going to line up my little die. I just used my little sidekick to cut this out because, well, why would you make it hard on yourself? And that's going to be on there. So let me just etch that a bit. It's a tiny bit too plain to my liking. I love the simplicity, but it needs, it needs a little something. Do I want that? Like a little belly band? Or, bear with me, bear with me, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my plan figured out. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this beautiful butterfly that comes from um, yes, that is the Ticket to Fly free set. I think that white sort of breaks it up a bit because it brings back the white here, but I do want to give this a bit of an edge. Okay, so what I did is I've cut um, a, a little strip in black and from this pink using the deckled edge again and I'm just gonna go around and edge this again and I'm going to glue that on there. Now this is the idea but you never know. I'm going to line this up right there and I don't like this bit. So I'm going to trim this off. So that this... Yes, that's it. So, then I thought these can come from behind there. I've got my little butterfly there. I'm gonna put my hello lovely right there. Yes. I'm gonna use the butterfly, but I'm gonna do something. First, let me glue these down. So then I'm going to glue this one on, this little banner we made. Then I'm going to glue this one right in the center of that. Love this. Yeah, this is really cool. Now, the butterfly, I'm just going to glue the center part here. Well, it's not a butterfly, it's a moth, but whatever. <laughs> I think it's a butterfly. It can be whatever it wants to be, right? And then I'm going to take my, where's my treasure box? Here's my treasure box. Take my little treasure box. And I'm going to get out one of my vintage pen nibs. I'm going to put that on there. And there we have it. My, not so simple anymore, <laughs> Valentine's card, but I'm loving it. Love the background, love the little elements on there. I think it's nice and crunchy, just like how I like it. So 
I hope you like it too. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you for joining me today and I'd love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.